Now look at this <laughs> headline. Why states are running out of rental aid and others have millions left over. Man, this is what's going on. And that's why if you would tried for the emergency rental assistance program earlier, man, you just got to try again. I mean, this article just goes on and on. Why? How people, you know, there are state governments that are giving the money back because not enough people applied. Isn't that amazing? Uh, God, for us, 33 million more in rental aid that was needed. That uh, the New York, oh, South Dakota gave back $33 million because they didn't need it. You know, other states are doing the same thing. Uh, and the money is sitting there. South Dakota, where is that? I was scanning this. Oh, uh, Idaho, West Virginia. See, people just don't know about the programs. You know, there's other programs that don't have any more money. But look at this, South, South Carolina has millions in rent and utility relief sitting there waiting for people to apply for it. Wow, millions. Now, how can <laughs> people have millions? And you read the article, it tells you how it's a little complicated you know, uh, to get it. It's by the county, and then some counties have a national program, I mean, a state program. Other counties have their own county. To put. It, it is, that's why no matter what, you applied for in the future, in the past, and you still get it. So here, here, for example, a family of four in Charleston County, South Carolina, could earn more than sixty-five thousand dollars and be eligible. Wow! <laughs> uh, South Carolina received three hundred and forty-six million dollars, you know, uh, and they just got more money to give out. The county spent a million dollars on rent and utility assistance before deciding to end the program because not enough people applied. Wow. <laughs> oh, I know there's hurting out there. I mean, uh, uh, let's go help. We have so many people just, uh, you know, talking about that. Now, I'm going to put some uh, links in the uh, in below uh, that will be a link for on housing and one for uh, mortgages and one for rent. So you need, and it's a national link that will find your local program to apply to. So that will be in the uh, description in the bottom if you're watching this on YouTube. Now, you know, if you're a member of Let's Go Help, we send you a report on the whole thing. But here's it just to get you started. And see, this is February 13th. This came out. They're dying for people to apply. Doesn't that make you mad? when the government has like $7,000 grant waiting for you, <laughs> but you don't know. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and, and, and that's why if it's not there, you have to try, try again, whatever. And I gave two other places and, uh, and that's really 211.org and findhelp.org. And what you do is you go to those two websites. <clears throat> if the national website doesn't work uh, and for your local office doesn't have it, then you go to those two websites because there's local programs, you know, that also do the same thing, whether it's rent, mortgage, utilities, all those pro problems you have. And what you do, you search the keyword for there. You could call, but yeah, I think it's better to search because then you get a list of all the programs. And when you call the programs and, and Smiley, <laughs> the lady I live with just taught me a new trick on, on, on when you call people for help, uh, you don't call and say, uh, I used to say, well, yeah, you have something there to help me. And if they say no, then ask them for somebody else, you know, ask them for suggestions of other people who may be able, because they'll know people in the business and other organizations that are doing the same thing they do. They happen to, by accident, find out about them. They're doing the same thing for years and years. But I, I eavesdropped on her doing some research or something. And she had a great thing. She'd leave a message. Hey, I wanted to get your help. It's sort of identifying some people who could help. So you're not asking for them to help. See, you're asking them, hey, you know, your expertise, you know about this stuff. I wonder if you know anybody who could help me with X, Y, Z. And that way. So they don't have to call you back and, and tell you they don't have any money. I'm sorry. And they can't help you. People want to help you. So you, you ask a question that allows them to help you, no matter if they got the money or not. So if they have the money, they're going to tell you, yeah, we got money. But if they don't have the money, they'll be happy to call you back because they could show off and help you. That's what it's all about, how you're treating people. <laughs> it's enough people. Hey, uh, lazy son of a bitch, get off your chair and give me your money. Nah, you know that's not going to go. <laughs> but you feel like that, right? Because it's tough out there. So try to keep up your spirits so you can be nice.
because then they'll be nice back. So look at the uh, bottom. And also, if you want, want us to help you personally, that's what we do at Let's Go Help. Uh, and that's $20 a month. Or go to letsgoreports.com. And then you could get a listing of like all the places in your state that help you with money and free help to solve any kind of problem. See, we have it state by state out there and all the work done you for it, six ninety five dollars there. So for that, you got the greatest shopping list in the world for grants where you live.